Um, my name is Craig Floor. I'm a mechanical I'm a mechanical engineer, certified energy manager. Uh, I'm here to speak about the Anaheim uh, Energy uh, Plant. Uh, however, I've actually built a digester. I built the fog system, and I can tell you firsthand uh, what they are like. Um, I built. A, I helped uh, rebuild the one in Rialto. There, they have a one million gallon digester. This plant is pr proposing two 3.3 million gallon uh, methane tanks. And for those of you who are not familiar with methane, it has the equivalent of 10,000 pounds of TNT, and it's within 1,800 feet of a school. This is a, an issue that I feel the council needs to address. Uh, there's also going to be 6.6 .6 million gallons of digested food, or sludge, as we can in other words, feces. You digest food, you get something equivalent to feces. And there's no secondary containment. What that means is, in the event of a major earthquake, where those two tanks were the rupture, we would have 6.6 .6 million gallons of feces flowing uh, in Anaheim. Uh, this is not acceptable. Uh, additionally, there would be uh, 200 tons uh, per year of concentrated air pollution, as is shown in their environmental analysis. They have not done a site-specific EIR. They've done an analysis, which is not the same, and uh, it is something that uh, has to be done uh, as a matter of responsibility. If there is an issue and the city has not done an EIR, obviously everyone here would be liable. Uh, there are unsealed trucks. They have a cover, but they're not sealed. That means this aged food, which has already been at, a, at the um, MRF, for no, who knows how long, will be in unsealed trucks that simply have a tarp over them. Additionally, the truck loading ramps are not below grade, they're above grade, which means that rainwater runoff, all that rainwater would end up in the stormwater, which ends up in uh, Santa Ana River, which would pollute our ocean. Uh, additionally, this project calls for a 60-foot tall flare adjacent to the two methane storage tanks. The potential for a disaster here is huge, and it's definitely something that needs to be reviewed by, by independent professionals, and an EIR specific to that site must be done. Additionally, I'd like to add that this plant's going to use 40,000 gallons per day of drinking water, when this plant could just as easily be sited at a wastewater treatment plant where it could use reclaimed water, which would otherwise be dumped. There is no excuse for using potable water when reclaimed water is available. And with that, I would like to add that um, the company, the private company that's proposing this already Mr. owns Flora, land. Mr. That's Flora, efficient. I'm sorry, sir. Your time is up. Thank you. Time is up. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you. <laughs>